One of the oldest areas of Santa Barbara has a new growing appeal. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palminteri joins us from this trendy spot with the district now that just seemed to form before our eyes. John? Well, you know, some developments in Santa Barbara take about 10 years of hearing goes over at City Hall, and some just happen naturally. Well, we're in the Presidio neighborhood of Santa Barbara. It's been around a long time, but it is re-energized now with quite a bit of new food and shopping, culture, and characters. We are in uh, the Presidio neighborhood. That's what we're calling this area, these two blocks and the surrounding streets. Santa Barbara has a new destination in one of the oldest parts of the city. Artist Hugh Marjoram and a collection of business owners east of State Street downtown have a very cool quilt of dining, shopping, history, and entertainment that's come together on its own. Just a few steps into our tour, starting at Cannon Perdido in Santa Barbara Street, he was quick to name nearly everything around us. Julianne Restaurant, Sojourner's been here for a long time. Drishti Yoga, Handlebars, and uh, Jimmy's, which is now the Pickle Room, and Three Pickles Deli and it turns into Corazon uh, pop-up taco bar on Sundays. Nearby, even a large alley is now a welcoming outside dining and coffee area. I know, I almost always run into someone I know here. You know, that's part of the cool thing. You, you see people you know in the neighborhood, and you do a little networking. And nearby, the city's roots. This is the last original remaining part of the old Presidio. The rest of it's all been rebuilt. Fold-out maps of the area help you find food, architectural, and dining treasures, even if you've lived here your whole life. You could spend hours in here. You could. You, that's sort of the, you know what, I think there's parking here. You can park, park your car and spend the whole day. Everything you need is here. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, late night, theater. Nighttime is noticeably different with casual and upscale dining. Just steps away from the busy landmark Libero Theater and about a half a dozen wine tasting spots that only recently came together in this trendy location. Uh, we were the first ones in this complex to have a tasting room. So we have a nice little cluster here called the Wine Collection of El Paseo. There may be no other location in the city that has such an array of history, culture, business, and hideaway housing. We've also found some secret paths. Head through that parking lot, there's a hidden little pathway that goes by the goldfish pond and it'll connect you over to El Paseo. The Presidio neighborhood also edges up to Delaguerra Plaza and State Street, but it's become a trendy two-block area that's the talk of the town. Well, down here in the Presidio neighborhood, there's so many people that are changing over this time of day. You had the coffee and lunch crowd, and now it's coming alive for the dinner and theater crowd, along with some wine tasting and some food at the fine dining as well. A new neighborhood in Santa Barbara. Reporting live from the Presidio neighborhood, I'm John Palmenteri, News Channel 3. All right, fun. And you were down there today yourself? Right? Yeah, I didn't, you didn't even know we were doing a story, but it was fun. <laughs> I did notice there were a lot of people walking around, fun energy. Yeah, the yeah, little alleyway just packed yeah. in. It fun. was packed, yeah. yeah. Well, the